realistic because with yeah. the border, the yeah. question is obviously on the map, there's still a border, right, in the east, but we know that it's open. Things move freely, soldiers move freely, people move freely. And that's one of the things supposed to change. Merkel had pointed out, as you said, that's a priority to move forward, to have any sort of agreement that has to change and there has to be progress, but there hasn't been any. You know, there have been OSC observers, but at very specific no. points, and it was clear from journalists that, you know, all sorts of equipment for entering otherwise. So, I mean, what's considered realistic and achievable at this point? Because obviously, you know, there's negotiation for the sake of negotiation, and there's negotiation to get concrete results, which saves people's lives and makes progress. So, I mean, what are kind of the, you know, as Natalia had pointed out, the key points or the priorities at this point? You are absolutely right. We would consider it as a huge success and given current circumstances as a miracle, as a political miracle, if we could agree on two very simple things, actually. Mm -hmm. Ceasefire and return of prisoners of war. Mm -hmm. These are the things that are practical, that, that are doable, achievable, and we can deliver on them if there is a political will of uh, uh, Russia and uh, leaders of uh, terrorist organizations in Donetsk and Lugansk. These things that can and must be done. <laughs> Everything else, the list of uh, uh, issues is there in Minsk agreements. There are other of them, like controlling border, which is uh, essential for containing the conflict. It's, uh, we will not be able to bring peace and stability to, to the region unless we exercise full control over the border. But this is more definitely more so long term and more complicated yeah. uh, task for so us.